Hi everybody, we are Imon. Welcome. Rosana. Hello, dear travels of the universe. My name is Rosana, and together with Sergio, we are going to be your hosts. And this time, we're going to travel to Russia, from Spain to Russia, with Valerie Uberov. <laughs> Valerie Uberov. Yeah. Oh, Hi, Valerie. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, my friends. Hello. <laughs> only, only before to start the... the the interview i want to tell you i'm the writer of the book monor you can find this book in english in uh, spanish and in portuguese and you can get it in our page in monor.org monor.org okay thank but you. but today we're gonna we're gonna make a very nice and very interesting interview with uh, uh, valerie and now is uh, your time and uh, Rosanna, if you want, okay, I can and I, I can make uh, I can ask the question that when we start, we uh, we we make a very interesting or, or very important investigation to the for the humanity to the humanity, and in the same in the in this time in this moment we we it start a lot of attacks against you. Why? What did happen that? What do you think it happened that? Uh, uh, when you, you are offering something good for the people? There are no sense, or yes? Uh, there is a big sense, my friends, because even ancient Egyptian texts, they say that there is a cosmic law which is filtering good and evil. And it's, it's this law, in principle, working for humanity and this law and this ancient text has a very great meaning. First of all, uh, we should keep in mind that this world unfortunately subjected to two main powers which we call good and evil in in yang ba ka it's fortunate in unfortunate because um, spiritual development of any human being goes through a certain energetical stages and any attempts any steps of spiritual development should be synchronize energetically with the aura, with the energetical system of the planet Earth. On one hand, it sounds a little bit strange, weird, but there is a big, big meaning and big, big idea behind it because humanity on any planet, like for example here on a planet Earth, have been burned not by Orions or whatever, Planet Earth created this form of life, human form of life. And what I'm talking or start talking now, this is mostly important topic. So we can say we can say we are a fractal way of planet Earth, right? So first of all, now we should go very carefully, step by step, getting idea. So the first idea which I would like to, to let's say, implant uh, in the consciousness of people here, that humanity have been created 
by planet Earth. Okay. We are the kids of our planet. Our physical bodies are connected with the body of the planet. It's exactly the same mechanism which any woman experience bringing a new child. And you know, for example, that when your child is in, in, in stress at home, but you are in the office, you immediately feel inside that something is going wrong with your child. Hmm. And the same back way. So when you are with your boss and your boss is attacking you and you are in stress, your child suddenly starts to cry being at home because this is an invisible close connection. The same with humanity. So, and then in the future, when you will ask the question, how we can change energetically humanity, how we can heal the planet Earth, for example, with the help of the pyramids or any other instruments, always remember, first of all, we should start from ourselves. We should start and heal humanity because there is a big energetical reason why. Again, number two, very important topic. Why planet Earth created the form of life which we call humanoid form of life. On the way of development, any cosmic object, like for example, we are talking about planet Earth, which is cosmic living organism having its own consciousness. Mm -hmm. So on the way of development, any planet goes through a certain stages of development. When they first create the simple forms of life, biological life to change the environment in, on the planet Earth and preparing environment to create the most important form of life, which any planet needs, badly needs for following development. This is the form of life which can transform any types of energies into psychic type of energies. Because this type of energy is critical important for the development of the consciousness of the planet Earth. So planet Earth created humanoid form of life because humanoid form of life is affecting and creating, generating so-called psychic type of energy. This is a very important moment. So then, when we see that the planet around us is really, no, I wouldn't say ill, but it needs help, certain mm -hmm. type of help. And we think we need to, for example, to build a pyramid like ancients did to heal the planet Earth. That's the right approach. But number one is that complexes of pyramids, first of all, should positively affect the human consciousness. And then pyramids in interaction with the human consciousness starts to create, starts to generate a very special type of energy, critically necessary for development of the planet Earth. This is most important moment for understanding. And this is the reason why in ancient time, pyramid have been built not only for cosmic or intergalactic or interplanetary communication. The pyramid built for many reasons. And one of the reasons, healing the planet through perfection of human consciousness. And human consciousness affected the consciousness of the planet Earth 
creating creating a special energetical dimension which today we call shambhala this is the moment shambhala shambhala was created in interaction of the human consciousness as the civilization and the consciousness of the planet so from this point from this very important moment we can start the most important step forward so and when you asked me at the beginning about this experience when on the way of self perfection when you start to honestly bring something to humanity for better life for better understanding for the good you immediately experience a tech from different people i tell you this is a normal process which has cosmic let's say how to say pre it's this this program is pre-installed by creator so and this program is helping as i said from the beginning to filter and divide plus from minus negative from positive why this division is so critically important one of the ancient texts says that any human being in the whole universe is subjected and constructed according to the same principle the same genetic code as the creator it means that on our way of self development first of all we need to learn how we can make or how we can realize self perfection process in a positive on the right way this is the most important thing and it's not just the question important is that ancient texts contain an answer what any human being in the whole universe should do on the way of self perfection when you start thinking that the quality of your life depends on the quality of your thinking when you start thinking of meditation when you start to read many books different books about any techniques for self perfection you came to understanding that you need to make kind of work for example meditation work you need to visit special power places mountains forests whatever and when you start to meditate it, and it's natural you attract a cosmic energy and the cosmic energy comes into your physical your energetical bodies and these cosmic energies are affecting your body and which is good on one hand but here ancient text says if you want to make everything correct you need to synchronize your energetical system you actually should synchronize the information which is energy energy in information this is two sides of one coin so if you want to make it properly like the body of your child is synchronized with the body of mother the same should be done with the human energetical structure when you get the cosmic energy and which is good because with with this energy you are getting a lot of very important information you need you need immediately synchronize this energy with energetical vibrations with the energetical aura of the planet earth and first of all the main result will be that you step over the border of death i just quoted ancient text 
And here we came to most important moment. If you know what you do and you know how to do it, then your development will be in a very positive way. And it will be endless and you're gonna pretty effectively go to understanding of creation. You can feel, really feel the voice of, of the creator in yourself, which is absolutely important stage in, the, in your development. But if you do something wrong, if you do not know how it works, you get a very negative result. What means a negative result? Look, take an account the destiny of all main uh, famous spiritual teachers of our world for last, let's say, 100 years. I would use those names whose people are aware and know. This is like Jiddha Krishnamurti, Ramana Maharishi, Vivekananda, Sri Aurobindo, Mira Alfasa, Nitargidatta Maharaj, and many of them, all of them died from cancer. All spiritual leaders being on the way of self-development, all of them, 100% die of cancer. Why do you think it happened that? Uh, this is because they, they missed the ancient message. They never synchronize energy and information with the energetical body of the planet Earth. Because exactly for this reason, ancients, they used tools which were called the wands of Horus. And you can see these tools in the hands of all ancient Egyptian, Egyptian statues. And they built pyramids and special temples. And if you know that our teachers, I was talking just one minute ago, they never used these instruments. And this is the reason why they didn't step over the border of death. So by this long way, we came to just preliminary understanding why we are attacked. Because somewhere inside of us, there are two powers fighting. On a simple way of understanding, we can say there is a God, creator, and there is, let's call, devil, who is fighting with a God. But interesting is that this is not truth. Reality is different. In ancient Egyptian text, the person whom we call the devil is represented by God with the name Set. And if you look on the ancient Egyptian scriptures, especially pictures, you will see that uh, there is a main uh, symbol which is describing the evolutionary process of God himself and a human being. This is the God Ra, which is sitting inside the boat of million years. Probably you know what I'm talking about. And he is drifting in this boat. Drifting in the boat of million years means that the process, which is described in ancient texts, has direct connection to materialistic world, to events which are taking pl place in a materialistic world. And around this boat, you can see huge, enormous snake, which is hanging over the boat, and he is going to bite, he is going to kill creator. And the name of this snake is Apophis. And from this moment, we, we should ask the first question. Listen, something is 
weird. Something is strange because if this world is created by Ra, how it can be possible that Snake Apophis would be stronger than Ra? And he's going just to kill him any second. And for any clever mind, it became clear that Ra is not the highest god. He is subjected to a certain more powerful cosmic law. And Apophis is representative of this cosmic law. And he is watching how Ra is moving along the way of self-perfection, self-development as human being. And if Ra makes just one mistake, Apophis will kill Ra. The same we see with the people. If we are making mistakes like our teachers made these mistakes, they all of them, they died from cancer. And then the last very important detail of this ancient description of the creation of the world. In this boat of million years, there is only one creature who is defending the god Ra. Can you imagine? Only one. Who is this creature who is fighting for god Ra? This is Set. And here we are, cam- we are coming to a most weird place. Most weird. Because we consider Set as a negative aspect. Like Satan is a negative aspect of our life. But in this picture, we see that Set plays a very special, very important and positive role. What is the meaning of this role? The meaning is exactly in what you asked me in the beginning. Filtering good and evil. Now we came to the most important topic. What is the reason? What, what's the idea? The idea is following. On the planet Earth, there are billions of people, at least millions, hundreds of millions of people who are interested in self-perfection. But these people do not aware of this ancient message which have been left for us by ancient Egyptian priests. And we are making one and the same mistake. So this text says that if person is not enlightened, he's not aware of the mechanism and he is moving along the way of self-development, a certain power should be created to stabilize the process. It means to slow down, slow down this this run along the way of self-development because people, they do not know about cancer fact. You see, cancer, if you know how to do it, you do everything step by step, very carefully, according to a knowledge, using special tools, building the pyramids, and your way of development will not be like critically run, like very fast. It must not be fast. It should be subjected to a certain steps of development. But people, they do not know about it. How? How we can save people from this run. God created this filter. And many, many people who do not know the mechanism, but somewhere inside of themselves, they feel that something is wrong here. Something is missed. They naturally, naturally, start to def- to fight against it. 
I hope you understand what I mean. This is a very, very special, very tiny, very important topic. And this is the reason why we should take this attack normally without being offended or something like this. It means that what we should do, first of all, is just to bring people understanding of this mechanism. And then when people are informed and they start use this knowledge, because this knowledge will help them to avoid problems with cancer. Then the life of human being will be changed critically energetically people will be changed critically and very very positively but again everything should be done according to a knowledge which i have described in my books but at the same time sure there are some people who they are not interested in this development of the consciousness of the people this is the last last let's say small detail there are. But here, this cosmic law just is helping us to see how this division is going on. One are be becoming more positive. And by the way, one of the most interesting effects of the pyramid, I'd like to speak about it right away, right now. And I was for many years trying to understand why knowledge about the pyramid is so suppressed, is so closed for humanity. For 30 years, I was trying to learn more, investigating any possible acceptable information, texts, making scientific experiments, and I came to understanding. Now listen to me very attentively. Pyramid has very unusual effect on the human consciousness. If a person go into the pyramid and this person has a positive way of thinking, if this person has a positive intentions, and this person is, let's say, good and positive. Pyramid will multiply his energy and he will become even more positive. And his intention become even more energetical. And his internal soul light will, will be much more bright. But if in the pyramid will go in a person with a negative intentions with a negative souls and so on the pyramid will empower his negativity hundreds of times and then anything can happen and this is the main reason why pyramids have been suppressed the information till up till today <clears throat> but now talking about it again we came to understanding how this filter of good and evil is working and it's small description explaining why when you make when you start to make something good for people for humanity for civilization you will always encounter a certain group of people which will be attacking you and at the end of this part i tell you this it has a serious reason but what we need to have we need to have understanding what it is how it works and what is the reason which stands behind it i hope I did it more or less understandable for you. Uh, Valerie, uh, I want to uh, make you a question. Do you think that technically it's possible to, to get the eternal life? 
in 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 immaterial uh, level, not in uh, a theoretical level. Uh, Do, I understood. I understood your question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm pleased, really pleased, that uh, today I'm talking with you, with a person who is already thinking this way, because it means that you came in your self-development to a moment, to a period when you started to feel, you started to realize that there is a certain truth which is standing behind this idea, internal, uh, eternal life and so on. Actually, and what I'd like to tell you now, this is a most important moment for development of all civilization on any planet of our endless universe. And this moment starts from your question. And now I'd like to answer a question. Life is, first of all, endless but we need to understand how it works. And I hope I will bring it to you now clearly enough, and then you will, you will, you will say great, great thanks, creator, that you invented what we call death. Because this is the biggest present for development which even ever could exist in this universe now i'm i will explain what i mean the human being is constructed especially its physical body so that the development of our consciousness is deeply and critically depends on our physical body. I even give you more idea that those creator we are talking today who created this endless universe is developing himself through physical world not only through energetical, no, through physical world. And this is the reason why these physical dimensions are so separated between each other that sometimes it's impossible to find one or another dimension because it's so far. But all is working as one unit. But let's go back to to what you were asking me about. How this process of evolution is working. One of the reasons why pyramid, pyramids have been invented and built in ancient times is in understanding that pyramids have been used for consciously controlled reincarnation. And here, here is the key. Because it's like, just imagine, you now, yeah, you, you, for example, you bought, today, you bought Mercedes, okay? Mercedes. Brand new Mercedes. And you are using this Mercedes for five or ten years. And this Mercedes now can drive like 300 miles per hour easily, or maybe 500 miles per hour easily. But then when you need to use this car to drive 800 miles per hour, this car cannot do it. It's impossible. We need a different construction. So what we can do. It is impossible to repair 
or perfect this car. What you do is you just melt material. You just melt all plastic. And from this material, you create a new type of the car, which will be able to drive 800 kilometers per hour. The same with the human body. Because now you are sitting before me in this body, in this particular body. And this body has a limit. And this limit is pre-described, prescribed by creator. So how, how you can perfect, how you can reach a real enlightenment? First of all, if you want to feel, you're going to experience, you want to experience how it works, you need to know and you, you need to visit the place where you died in your former life. But you, you should know exactly where it happened, what time. So if you will visit the place of your former life in this present body, that will be the moment when many things in your life will be changed right away. But this is just the beginning. And ancient teachings says for real development, you need to make what ancient texts called consciously controlled reincarnation. For this reason, they built a pyramid. And when Pharaoh, for example, was dying, body was taken into the pyramid and properly built pyramid on a proper place with a proper energetics works as accumulator. So when the spirit of a dying person is leaving the body, pyramid is catching and keeping the spirit inside of the pyramid. Then what ancients, what, what actually we should do? We need immediately to put this body, which is already not necessary, into onto, in, on, onto the fire. We don't need it anymore. Then you need to take a lady which is pregnant. This lady must be exactly uh, on the period when her child inside is four months old. Four months exactly. And if you go into the pyramid this moment, the spirit goes into the embryo. So, and when the child will be born, this child will remember all previous lives. This child will, will be the one whom ancient texts calls half God. And as some Mayan texts said, like Popol Vuh, they said these people will be able to talk with the fish, with the animals. They will be able to talk with the gods. This person will hear what's going on in any corners of our planet, what's going on in the skies and under the ground. This will be the person with unbelievable capacities. <coughs> this person will be able to live 200 years, 300 years, 500 years, 1,000 years, 2,000 years, as long as you want. But again, you will come to a certain moment when your body will show up its limitations. And then you need to perfect your body. How you can perfect your body, it can be done only through consciously controlled reincarnation again. Then inside, for example, of your family, you can do it just inside of your family. You need somebody needs to conceive a child, properly conceive a child. And on in one of my website, you can you can see this project, which is called Cosmic Baby. So when 
you are dying and ch child is conceived uh, in four months when mother again goes into the pyramid and your spirit again go into this child then you will be thousands of time more perfect and you go on the level when this world anything in this world will be in your hands because you will be able not only mentally affect in a positive way this world around us you will be able to transform your body mentally into the energy level then travel all over the universe in energetical form of life and then return to your body you become by the way the one who is ancient egyptian texts called osiris this is this is the real meaning of what is eternity osiris osiris yeah i see this Osiris, Osiris. Okay. Osiris. This is exactly. So if you read, if you will read ancient texts, not from the religious point of view, but the, from scientific or technological point of view, you will see that all these texts contains a lot of practical information connected with technology, of consciously controlled reincarnation. Then it is possible to make that is called a metamorphosis in this, this is, level. Exactly. This is another word. This is metamorphosis because metamorphosis, real one, can happen only through consciously controlled reincarnation. Perfect. But this control of reincarnation we can do for ourselves sure. without use, without use uh, any pyramid or any no, another no, technologic. No, 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 no. By the way, it's it's impossible to do it without it. We need a pyramid for make the for for make this uh, sure, sure. this process. Yes. Forget the process. Yes. Only in in our let's say like this. All civilizations in our endless universe, they have been always using one and the same tool for consciously controlled reincarnation, pyramids. And this is the reason why you will find pyramids on any planet of any solar system, because this is the critically important tool. And this is an explanation why this technology have been given to humanity by extraterrestrial civilization and this is explained that such kind of knowledge can be received only from highly developed extraterrestrial civilization because we cannot work this information out just according to experience no it should be present from highly developed extraterrestrial civilization Vale, I have a question, because mm -hmm. in your book, which by the way, we already put it there, and you can read it for free because you post it in your Facebook, mm -hmm. you say each person differs from the next in his or her individual frequency. Yes. If, if we have a personal frequency, can we, how can we <laughs> dial our frequency with one tool? First of all, uh, we should keep in mind that what we call individual or personal frequency, which in ancient Egyptian texts have been called Ren, Ren. This is very complicated vibration. It's not like a few digits. No, forget about it. Important, first of all, is that any living creature, any cell in your body has its own personal individual vibration. And as long as this individual vibration 
like you as a person, is the smallest cell of creator, it means that you can develop yourself only in case if you are using the same mechanism which creator have been using coming along the way of his own personal self-perfection. This is clear because as the ancient text says, we are create, created according the genetic codes of him. This is the reason why knowledge is critically important. Knowledge. We need to know how to do it. Otherwise, we will be on one and the same place, in problems, standing without any movement. First of all, knowledge. So, how we can calculate it? How we can use it? First of all, it is impossible to, <clears throat> to, to make kind of a record on a computer or on anything. Um, if you need to remember, keep in mind that your aura can make this record very quickly and remember this forever in relationships between people this is the key moment for example if i for example now i see you on the screen of my computer and i see your eyes i see the way you are talking i see or how your face is moving and it radiates kind of a, a field informational field which i i can i can see i can feel myself and the picture of your individuality is created inside of me but this picture cannot be 100 percent correct how can I, how can I make it hundred percent? I need to come to you close. I need to go into your aura. I need to feel vibration of your personality by my own aura, and my aura will remember this vibration forever. Then, to find a connection with you, all I need is just to remember your eyes and maybe the way you talk and immediately my aura will get into connection with your aura and i can communicate any idea any information telepathically into you and your system will be receiving this signal the last moment is are you able to transform this signal which is received into the range understandable acceptable for your consciousness you need to tune your instrument this is another reason why the wands of horus have been used and pyramids have been used and they practice for a certain time just to tune this mechanism and then you will immediately start feeling each other for example, like you can install connection between men and women, between wife and husband, like the connection actually exists between child and mother. We spoke today about it. We need to understand how it works. And for example, for wife and husband, also there was a very interesting technology how to create this channel of constant connection between two people who are in love with each other and this connection can help even to read the minds of each other unfortunately we have no now enough time i could explain how you can realize this technique this technology once in my life i i used it and i tell you it works perfect when i did it i felt clearly what the the lady whom i love was thinking of 
I felt anything about her, where she is, what she's talking about, what she's doing, a very unusual state. So this is also kind of technology which based on individual vibration, and this is the reason why in ancient Egyptian texts, Ren or individual vibration was the key moment. All pyramids have been built and tuned on Ren, on individual vibrations. Yeah, but our individual vibration is changing throughout our lives. No. That's why, yes, but that's why we are losing friends and making no, new friends. No, no, no. And no, 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 no. Losing no. your couple because you are in a state of awakening different from the other people. No, no, no. You are mistaken. I, I will explain. <laughs> this, I'm, this, I'm wrong. <laughs> yes. This is, uh, this is the biggest mistake. I explain why. For example, when you are, for example, now at the particular moment when we are sitting together with you here. Yes. <coughs> and I see you in this body. This is not only one dimension. This is not only one life. Mm -hmm. This is not only one reality. When you are, when you where you have this body. Mm. Okay. Then there are many, many dimensions where you already passed away. And you changed your body. Mm -hmm. There are some other dimensions in reality where you still didn't have this, you, you didn't burn. So you, it means you are not, you are not, you, you, you didn't came into this body. Okay. So, I, I have not finished my work in another dimension. So, yes, but <laughs> how, how we can easily find you there? only using your personal vibration and and that dimension you have different body you have a different life you are living in a different country you are talking a different language you can be even a man but we can easily find you because ren is one and the same it's like a like your personal trace no? yes yes okay. call it trace it's always one in the same and this is, in principle, important to understand. Your personal, individual, vibration, soul, your soul, which is moving from one body to another body, from one time to another time, has one and the same individual vibration. If you are talking about this present life and vibration of your body, this is a different thing. So that's eternal, isn't it? But what is moving from one body to another body, this is eternal, right? Okay. This is. Sergio, you want to ask something? <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need time to, uh, to think about it. Can you talk about your, uh, uh, your, your instruments and your, uh, your works, your instrument that you have de developed? Like I am showing the in the picture. Uh, everything is uh, is on one hand interesting and easy. Uh, I told you that uh, I spent more than thirty years of, of investigation of def different Egyptian uh, Mayan texts, Sumerian texts, or whatever. Like like all other people, I was interested in self perfection and self development, and I I, I was doing I think the same mistakes and as all other people did and doing now and there was a time when i came to understanding first it was a feeling but then understanding that we do something wrong what we do wrong what we do not understand and then it gave me idea that um, on the way of self-perfection ancient Egyptian priests, they, they were using a special tools. First of all, those tools which they used as the prevention tool against cancer. Because cancer, as I told you from the beginning, this is kind of a punishment for all people who were self-developing without understanding of the mechanism. 
and this is the reason why all the teachers, most well-known uh, and you know, let's say most most known teachers, all of them, they died from cancer. And what I what I wanted, that what that was my very strong wish, and understanding that I need to understand the mechanism. I need to inform people, humanity, as soon as possible about this discovery so that thousands of people who are now on the way of their self-perfection and self-development could at least learn about this knowledge, they could read it, they could investigate it, and they could use it, making their own choice that the reason number one and then the reason number two was understanding that as i told you before development transition of all civilization our civilization on a higher level of development will happen in conjunction in combination of alternative science and present classical science and i started we started to make an experiments in the russian academy of science uh, trying to understand how pyramids are affecting living and non-living origin uh, living cells material different material objects and we came to very interesting conclusions which today can be very successfully used in the development of one or another technology this knowledge can be very effectively used for medicine for many many purposes and uh, just stepping from one level of understanding on a higher level of understanding, I was perfecting the knowledge, I was perfecting the tools which I found in ancient Egyptian texts, in ancient Sumerian texts, Tibetan texts, Mayan texts. They, they used this one and the same type of tools. And now I have described the mechanism of these tools, mechanism of the pyramids in my books, and this is the reason why I share this knowledge for free with people. People can download the book, they can read the book, they can enrich themselves with the knowledge. They have something to make their own choice which way to go. They can discuss this knowledge. And then I'm sure we will make the step in our development all together. And this is the main goal of my investigation and of my life. Um, Valerie, what about the tipis from the Native Americans? Do you have, because they were like, you know, kind of a pyramid. Do you, do you think they had a... Uh, actually, you will find the, um, the shape idea which stands behind this interesting living uh, object you know everywhere everywhere what i would recommend is just to share just to save a little bit more personal individual time for investigation for reading and then you will see that all these structures all these texts they are talking about one and the same thing, important importance of the pyramid-shaped structures for our personal development, because such structures, energetical structures, have been used to create what ancient Sumerian texts called Tilmun. Tilmun, it's a uh, in our understanding it means the land of life how we can create energetical environment in a local area which will stimulate our immune system our consciousness 
our health. First of all, development of consciousness of our kids. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I am interested. I am working over up till today. This is exactly what I'm sharing with people. This is the reason why you see all these pyramid-shaped objects everywhere, because at that ancient time, they understood pyramids are a key instrument for development, not only an individual human being, for whole humanity. Okay. They were catalysts. No, I, I was going to say that they were catalysts of energy. On one hand, yes, any, any, any pyramid, even perfectly built, properly built a pyramid, it's a catalysator or a catalyst of a certain processes inside of the human energetical body and physical body. That's true. This is exactly what I'm describing in my books, mm. in the section devoted to the mechanism. Why do you think now is the, it's the time to, to discover everything? Why we have been privileged to, to have this knowledge now? Uh, I'm sure, working with ancient texts, that even 50 years ago, this type of information have been critically closed for humanity. Mm. But now, we came into very important, and I would like to point out, last phase of our civilization. In my book, especially the Pyramid book, you will find this section devoted to information about last three asteroid impacts which took place uh, on planet Earth within last 18,000 years. Mm -hmm. There, I support this calculation using ancient Egyptian catastrophic calendar which people now can see an ancient Egyptian temple which is called Iunta Nichet, which today we call Dendera. I am talking about Dendera Zodiac. So from this Dendera Zodiac and from some ancient Mayan texts, you, very, you can come to feeling and understanding that approximately in five, six generation, our civilization will experience a following asteroid impact. And this is going to be an awful event. This asteroid impact will destroy our civilization fully and we will fall down again into lowest level of our existence, our development. So we have got just five, six generation to take a last attempt to defend our planet, to defend our civilization, actually our future kids, because I love kids so much. I'm always thinking, first of all, about my kids and kids of our future. So, you know, and I think you really understand and realize that present developed adult humanity cannot find direct connection or contact with extraterrestrial civilization by one very understandable reason, because we are too aggressive. Kids, they are innocent. And in one of, on my, on my opinion, in one of the most interesting uh, UFO contact case, it was the contact of fifth kind. It was direct contact where Russian scientists had a chance to openly talk with a very highly developed 
with a representative of a very highly developed civilization. And this text you can find on my website. And when she asked about the future of our civilization, he, you know, he, he said one very important idea. He said, unfortunately, on the way of your development, you made a mistake and you came into dead end. And then he said, unfortunately, you have a wrong way of cognition, which you are dictating to your children. And then he finished his idea. When we will change the way of cognition, when we will stop teaching our kids by wrong way, our civilization will be changed morally. And I tried my best to find an answer for this question. And this is the reason why we decided to build the complexes of pyramids in Russia to use a special energetical tools, first of all, to bring into life within the following few years a quite new generation of kids with quite new energetical, mental, and spiritual capacities. I'm talking about the kids with whom extraterrestrial world will go into direct contact because these kids will be not aggressive. They will be thinking different to us adults who are fighting with each other. We need to spend time thinking about the future of our planet. We need to spend all our money and all our time just thinking how we can de defend our planet. But we are spending money for weapons, for political games and so on. So this is the reason why I'm talking with you today. I think I conveyed this message to you. I'd like to share this knowledge and I invite all of you. Let's work together. Let's share this knowledge with people so that they could make their own choice. Let's get prepared because we have chance to fight against this asteroid danger. And if you simply ask me, how can I be so sure? I tell you that very close to us, on our planet, there is a technical installation which is shutting down meteorites and asteroids for the last few thousands of years. It's a technical device. But in the nearest 40, 50 years, this technical device will get silent because so-called energetical psychic processes will be changed. So now it is time to understand how this system is working. Now it is time to get into contact with those who built this installation. By the way, practically, I can tell you that exactly this installation shut down more than 100 years ago, Tunguska meteorite, and recently, on 15th of February 2013, this installation shut down the meteorite over Chelyabinsk in Russia. You can find a lot of video on my website about it. So now they are acting openly. I have hours of recordings of activity this, of this installation, which is shutting down meteorites and asteroids, but we have no access to it. I'm sure we need to install direct contact with those who built this installation. And it will be the last chance, serious chance, to use this device against this uh, thread. But for this, we need to prepare a new generation of kids, new generation of young scientists, which are acting 
on a positive stimulus. I hope you understand me. Yes, but I think I think we are we already are in a in a era of new kids because, for example, I'm I'm closely working with a woman who is teaching kids to read with their eyes closed. Yeah. Clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, with their third eye. Yeah, yeah, I know very good. About it. Yeah, my, my child is also doing it, and <laughs> and he told me, but if I can do this, I can I can cheat. I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh. And I told him, the thing is that you have to use this kind of abili ability to do they, they do good things, <laughs> not to cheat on other people. <laughs> Kids, kids can very easily learn it, can it? But yeah. we need to help them. By the way, in biblical texts, you can find the mention that recently, not so long ago, people talk using one language, so-called proto-language. <clears throat> and then people, humanity lost the language and we started to use different languages. By the way, that proto-language which people could use was telepathic language, which was used uh, in a territory which in a history we know as Atlantis. Atlantean people, 50% of them, they were using telepathic language. And they were using just because they created, they built so-called energetical systems, energetical sources, which empowered their mental abilities. So for your kid, like for all other kids, if they would use this knowledge and they would, for example, install such a system in the class where they are teaching or learning how to read minds, they would do it 100 times more effective. Yeah, in fact, our book talks about how we have been manipulated throughout history with language. So... <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now that you are talking about that. But listen, you just told me a few minutes ago that we have a privilege. Yes. Living to live. Yes, this is a real privilege. And what I'm talking to you now and trying to bring the understanding. This is exactly what you are talking about. Now, we are giving the privilege to do anything in this direction. So if you want, you can do it. Now you learned, you learned a lot. And you know at least which way to go. And now it is your choice. Are you going to go this way trying to change your life and this world for better or not. And this will be the resulting decision. Will we survive as civilization or not? Now, humanity, I turn to you and say, this is the moment of your choice. Nobody in outer space is going to push you, no. Or yeah, drive, just make your choice. There is a personal decision and you have to be strong. Because with all this kind of information, you have to, to be able to filter which direction you, you want to go. This is the reason why we are giving just a choice. Nothing else. Just choice. Read it and make your choice. Yeah. Well, Valerie, I have any, any worry. Uh, I tell you. If you put any woman, pregnant woman, into the pyramid with a four-month baby, uh, any soul, any soul can go in. No. Not, not because maybe a, a no human soul can go in. No, no, of no, no, this no, 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 uh, no, 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 baby no. of the pregnant woman. No. That no. that is called in Sumeria urus daur. That is possession. That. Then there are another possibility that this baby can can be possessed for a no human life. No. First of all, here I'd like to make 
I'd like to make it clear for you, my friend. This is important moment. First of all, in normal life, when lady became pregnant, and doesn't matter, do you understand or she about it? Do, th th does she knows about it or not? The consciousness will be connected to embryo exactly at four month period. And nobody knows who will be connected. Nobody. Pyramid allows you to make a controlled reincarnation because you can know exactly who will enter the embryo. This is the big, big difference. This is the first. Then, for sure, there are many important details about it. And I, I tell you that uh, I'm sure that what I will tell you now <coughs> probably will be very, very unusual for people. I, I do not, I'm not going even to predict the reaction of humanity. <coughs> but as long as we are very, very, very speedily coming to a critical moment of, uh, of development of our civilization, we need to make it to make a choice. We need to start talking about it. So the last person who was talking about consciously controlled reincarnation, by the way, and this is the answer to your question, which you just now asked me about. The last person who tried to convey this knowledge to humanity was Jesus Christ. He was talking exactly about what we are talking now, how to help people to get rid of sin. And within our conversation, during our conversation, you asked me about the pyramids. So the process of self controlled reincarnation can be made only with the help of the pyramids. And I answered you, if you remember, yes, with the help of the pyramid. By the way, look, Jesus Christ, he had no the pyramid. And he wanted to show people how this technology can be realized. And without going too deep, but the topic is very interesting, very interesting. I'll just give you idea and I'll give you a choice. Go into internet and try to Google a pictures of a crucifixion of Jesus Christ, especially those pictures which have been done on the 14th century, 15th, 16th century. And what you will see in many, many pictures, you will see that very close to the place where Jesus was crucified, there are one or two UFOs. And as you understand, we have nothing to do with it. This picture has nothing to do with ufology, but this picture shows that somebody was trying to participate the process. Somebody was trying to help humanity to make this step in development. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Unfortunately, he was not allowed to fulfill, to fulfill his mission. And you see, the consciousness why I'm talking about it, just to help the consciousness of Jesus Christ 
to be removed from the from his body crucified body to another child somebody came and they were trying to control the process i'm just giving you idea because i'm now writing a big book about this topic with all details from the history with all pictures showing that real real message of jesus christ was exactly about the future we are coming now very rapidly he was talking exactly about the kids here and he was trying to give the understanding that the, the kids are talking the truth what kids are talking this is the most important thing we need to help people to kids sorry <coughs> to grow up in a proper way we should give them the proper information so now time has come and great thanks to you for this possibility to talk with you and with people through your interview because now we can share a little bit this knowledge we can stimulate the human brains the consciousness thinking process to start not only thinking try to find what i'm talking we are talking now you will find an answer and probably it will help you to make a right choice and then our team will rapidly start to grow and we will be able to change something in this world positively in time okay <clears throat> Uh, would you like us to put uh, your video about your project in Russia or? Oh, but if you, yeah, if if you have access to my website, you can show this video. Yeah, but I already passed Sergio your video, which lasts. is this cos cosmic baby. Uh, no. For example, <clears throat> cosmic baby. Now if you, I will tell you a few words about the cosmic baby project. Working with ancient Egyptian texts, and not only with ancient Egyptian texts, I came to a very interesting discovery. <clears throat> For example, uh, the, in ancient, the creation uh, of a child, like the birth of a new child in ancient Egypt was treated as the uh, reincarnation or the birth on the planet Earth, a new incarnation of the God. So they treated the child as the individual <laughs> through whom the God is looking on this world. So working with the ancient texts, I came to understanding and knowledge that there are only five days during the year when any lady can conceive the child which will be very strong very healthy spiritually top it, <clears throat> is, it will be absolutely special person maximum five days sometimes it can be just one day and we were working with all ancient calendars trying to find how they did these calculations and we create kind of an application which, which you can find in the internet for example on this website so and if the lady now will enter her birth date menstrual cycle and some other questions now you can calculate and find exact dates when you can conceive the child and your child will be like very healthy, very spiritual, the best, just the best. This is one of the projects. <coughs> and the other project, this is the pyramid complex I was talking. We started to build the big complex of the pyramids and we plan to build the city for 8,000 citizens for the reasons I have been talking with you today, just to bring energetical condition energetical environment to stimulate people's and kids consciousness their health 
and to bring into life the generation of absolutely new, talented, perfect kids. So, and you can just sh share the video of this complex. If you have- is, is, This is the video, no? See, that's the complex they are building in Russia. Yeah, play it on, play it on, Sergio. Okay. Ponlo desde el principio. Sí, pero está con copyright o no? No, you can use it. Okay. Then I put from the bottom. Yeah, because uh, this is the video which we did and you can show it, no problem. Okay. But there are already people living over there. Uh, no, that, now we are still working. People are living around. Oh, okay. But what you can see, you can hear, you can see here the complex as it is. This yeah. is, today it's a 13 pyramid, one, three, 13 pyramids. Mm -hmm. And uh, this complex will be surrounded. Now you can see just idea on the video of some areas of the complex and how it will be looking like. You see? Mm. But yeah. this, is, this is to live permanently, right? Or, or some people can just Come and um, go inside to... to yes, people, to people, yes, people can go inside for free. So actually, we consider and we are building this complex for the citizens of Tomsk city. They can, they can come here with the kids. They can, they can walk here. They can rest, swim, they spend their day here. Around this complex, we're going to build like a kindergarten, schools, sport complexes, business complexes, anything which can positively affect the life of people living in this area and actually in Russia. Because this complex stands on the special place, 300 meters deep under the complex, there is a huge lake, much bigger than Baikal. And through this water, we, we can cover a huge territory energetically, stimulating the consciousness of people living around the pyramid complex. This is the idea. Okay. So when do you calculate it will be finished? Well, all depends on uh, finish what? The pyramid complex or the whole city? The whole city, because you said now there are 13 already. Yeah, we built 13 pyramids. And uh, next year, this year, we were building airport. Airport? Wow. Yes. Yeah, we built uh, airport, special airport close to this complex. And uh, next year, we're going to complete our work underground because this complex has a special underground energetical system which should be connected. So we put together all 13 pyramids as the one complex. And then <laughs> we started to build the city. So how many years it will take? Three, four years, five years? It, it depends on economical situation because this complex is financed by private person. All right. Mm -hmm. It's not a government project. It, it's a private project. So for sure, we more, more or less, we depend on actual economic situation. But important is that we are moving on. It is possible in your pyramid to make the, the process of the experiment of the reincarnation? Sure, sure, sure. Have you tried yet or not? No. Or you no, will no, no. do it? No, this is the reason why I told you we need to complete. The complex of pyramid, which you see now, is not completed yet. Because inside of the pyramid should be a special energetical systems installed. We are installing, but the work is not completed yet. And underground, under the pyramid, there is a huge technical device. So, and we need to complete it also. And when everything will be completed, then 
it will be great. But by the way, if you go into this website and car uh, very carefully read, for example, the phase number seven, there I put you information that when we just build these 13 pyramids, especially the last four pyramids, which creates, they are forming these pyramids, what we call energetical pyramids. It's critically important to understand that any physical pyramid should also have energetical pyramid. If you will read it, you will understand, you will understand what I'm talking about. But when we completed this work, next minute, and this is very important, UFO appeared over the complex. And this object made for GPS marks of our complex, like put it on the cosmic map. It means that energetically, this complex started to emit very powerful energy, which became visible on the cosmic maps and UFO immediately appeared, made a special signs, markings, and disappeared. All event <clears throat> took place eight minutes. For eight minutes, this object was making energetical marks and then disappeared. So it means we did everything right. So it means that the complex started to work. But when we will complete the complex energetical aspects, it's going to be like an energetical sun in our solar system. So you have built the parking place for UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we built a parking place for souls of light, you know, posi positively thinking, positively living and acting people on our planet Earth. Yeah, we need it. This is your book. It this, is, is, this is the Wants of Horus book, which I have published on 2004. Four. One, of, one of his books, because he's got several. How many, books. How many books you have? Oh, actually, seven or nine, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would recommend to read this two, this the Wants of Horus. This is the, fir this is the first big book. And uh, there is also the book, which is called Pyramids legacy of the gods these two books i would recommend to read because they contain most interesting ancient texts and scientific data about pyramid research yeah. well, only one, one but no, I, no, 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 no. I was going to say that you talk about uh, a lot about number four also in your book but bueno, that's another topic maybe no <laughs> Because, but, no, uh, yes, yes, Sergio, go on. It's legacy of the gods, but no. Yeah, legacy of the gods. If you can send me the link, I, I can... Uh... Rosanna, have you the link of the book, Legacy of the Gods of uh, Valerie? Wait a second. Uh... No. If you can send me, if you, you can send me in the yeah. internal a message in a hangout wait i'll try to find it i'll just <coughs> wait <coughs> sorry wait 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 mm -hmm. Bye, Valerie. Okay, so wait a uh, yeah. Oops, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I actually I have created so big website <laughs> with so many information that sometimes I need to uh, a certain well, I, time to find 
the it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We will put the link afterwards in the description of the video. Okay, okay, but then anyway, I think I will. I'm already here. Um, no, 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 yet. Uh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, complex. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's not so, not so easy to find now here the book. I have, I, I got it. I see. It's, it, it should be in English language. I got it. The Pyramid Legacy of the Gods. It okay. is. Yeah. It's done. Great. Uh, maybe yeah, at the end, at, at the bottom, maybe I put this. And I will, let me see. Did I, uh, did I connect the right version? No, because we were writing yes, the, yes, the, this the, is the, right version. the yes. legacy instead of yes. the pyramid. Yes, mm -hmm. this is the right version. So I don't know where I can send here this information, but I can send it to you through uh, may, maybe a messenger, whatever. I, I want to make you two questions. Oh, yeah, One, okay. do you think the gods are really gods or are another civilization entities? For sure. When you are, when you are reading, for example, uh, ancient Egyptian te uh, texts, and you, if you read them uh, very, very carefully and very attentively, you will see that the texts are talking about two different types, let's say gods. Gods as the creator, the god as the creator, and the gods, which were the son of sons of creator, which means the civilizations of a very high level of development. Then, the next question, who they were, especially those ones who stimulated the development of our predecessors thousands of years ago. Actually, this process started 18,000 years ago. And that was those who lived on Mars, which was called at that time, and in Sumerian texts, this planet was called Nibiru. Nibiru, it's ancient name of Mars. And also they came from the planet which was called Tiamat. This is Maldek, destroyed planet, which now we can see as the belt of asteroids. And the third idea, <clears throat> ancient Egyptian texts contain clearly explaining scientific information that right uh, at the moment of a terrible catastrophe, planetary catastrophe, which took place in our solar system, those who lived on Mars and Maldek, they moved rapidly to the planet behind the sun. Now in our solar system, we have one more planet, bigger than the planet Earth. And this planet, the mass of this planet is planet Earth plus the mass of the moon. And this is the mass and the mass and the size of the planet behind the sun. And this planet is occupied by people, inhibited. So now they are living there. This is information carefully described in ancient Egyptian texts. So the gods who were civilizing our civilization thousands of years ago, now living behind the sun. This is the key moment. One question more. Um, if we want to be a, a civilization, uh, we want to be a, a mature, mature civilization, uh, we need to grow, we need to be autonomous, then we don't need the gods, we don't need another civilization, because if not, we are in, in their uh, line, and we need to have our self-line, the humanity. 
Uh, because if not, we, we're going to be manipulated from them. For good or for bad, what we're going to be manipulated from them. I would say like this. First of all, you should always... I, this is my advice. And this is advice not just to change your way of thinking. This is just advice to start uh, maybe a little bit more reading and looking deeper in the reasons which are standing behind all that events which took place in our solar system. And according to my experience, according to all that <clears throat> decisions which I did, I can share with you the following understanding. First of all, I would say the fact that we have been visited by civilization of a higher level of development gave us a chance <clears throat> for more effective and faster development. They have stimulated our civilization. Sure, this stimulation has positive and negative aspect. Like today, when we are discussing with you all that very important ideas and knowledge, what we are now bringing to humanity through this interview and through this work, we all this has a positive and negative aspects. All depends on how people gonna use it. Sure, our civilization invisibly is manipulated. That's true. But then I would ask you, because you are a pretty famous investigator and you are a person who is thinking about it, then I would ask you, have you ever thought, what is the reason stands, which stands behind this manipulation? It is very probable that the reason is so serious that if you personally would represent those or that extraterrestrial civilization, making your choice which way our, this earthly civilization will go on then, you would sign a document and you would do exactly the same which what extraterrestrial civilization are doing now. And you would personally start it to manipulate. This is the first thing, because there is a reason. I'm, I'm the one who understands the reason. And sometimes I think that what they did, this extraterrestrial civilization, they did, they did right. They did right. But being a human being living on the planet Earth, I'm thinking about my kids. I'm thinking about all people living here. I learned a little bit about your genetic capacities. You people living on this planet Earth, having all these problems which you have, all these negative and positive aspects in our soul. First of all, we are very strong. Genetically, we are unbelievably strong. And we are the fighters. <clears throat> we can fight for love. And we really can change this galaxy for better. But inside of us, there are still two powers which are 50 to 50 or sometimes, unfortunately, negative aspects are stronger than the positive aspects. So, and those extraterrestrial civilization which are controlling situation here, they need to make a right choice what to do to keep situation at least as it is now, so that it would not 
develop in the wrong way. Because people, if you, if you see what's going on around, any knowledge which we receive, we are using for self-killing. We are using for negative purposes, unfortunately. And this extraterrestrial world understands. This extraterrestrial civilizations, they remember the war of the gods, which have been started thousands of years ago but those who lived on Mars and Maldek. And our predecessors, they have been so successful during this war that they have been called gods of war. And this extraterrestrial civilization survived, hardly survived, and they remember that years, that period. And now they have a debt. We have a debt before them, which actually, on one way, we have to pay for what we did thousands of years ago. Yes, sure, people do not, people do not remember about it, but many thousands of people took place in this war in, the, in their previous lives. But if you take in account one very important uh, idea texts ancient text says there is no past there is no future everything is going on now this means that these people who are living now are taking place in the cosmic war and everything is going on now just try as far as you can imagine this situation. And there are some powers who might or who must control it. And this is the reason why they try to manipulate by our civilization invisibly to keep more or less this civilization under control. And again and again and again, I tell you, I'm the earthly being like you. And I, I'm sure that uh, this pressure, invisible pressure, which we experience, could be not so hard. Could be not so hard. But those who is controlling must, they have no right to make a mistake. And this is the reason why we are talking with you now. We are sharing this knowledge with the people, just trying to say, listen, people, let's make step forward ourselves in direction to this extraterrestrial civilization. Let's show them that we understand what's going on now. Let's show them that we are ready for positive changes. We are ready to work over these positive changes. If we will show it, we will experience the change in relationships with extraterrestrial civilization. Only, only the, the last uh, uh, idea I want to tell you is I accept all the theories or possibilities talking about gods, but the only thing personally that I don't uh, accept is we 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 never never lose our identity like human. We we should keep our identity forever like human. Because gods are for me are another civilization, another entities with another line, their line, with their their decision. And we, we should keep our identity. We can hear, hear all the possibilities, all the ideas. But that's good is, is to, uh, to share, to share information. That's nice. But I think we must protect forever our identity, like sure. humans. Agreed. I'm agreed with you. Million percents, I'm agreed with you. 
<clears throat> but first of all, when we are talking again, when we are talking about it, we need to know prehistory of our civilization. Because if you know the past, you can control your future. This is the principle. I'm agreed with you. Let's do it. But first of all, let's share the knowledge. We have no right for mistakes. So, agreed with you. Let's go. And uh, I tell you the truth. The truth, openly the truth. If you take all humanity for as a hundred percent, only seven percent, seven, they didn't lose their identity. Only seven. But it's a lot, really a lot. And maybe this is you who is sitting before me on the screen, we are talking with you. Maybe those people who are listening to us now, and this is the reason why I say, take care of your life. Take care of your health. Take care of your kids, of your future, of your family. Because maybe you are just those small 7% from the others who are carrying this identity, this very unusual, unbelievable power in your genetic codes, which will solve the problem of humanity in the nearest future. So I would, on one hand, agree with you. On the other hand, I can assure you, we will not lose our identity. As long as the people like you are existing, as you are talking about it, as you notice that something is going wrong with it, it means we always will be hearing kind of alert. People take care about it. We will try to be. Only, only the, 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 the last idea is I'm not agree with the hybridization, hybridization with uh, humanity and reptilians. I'm not agree. No, no, uh, no. no. Because that is the, the system is that they want. They want to make the, the first hi hybrid, hybrid human. The no. trans <laughs> they, they, want, they want to make us transformers, uh, reptilian transformers. Uh, is that that I'm not agree? I am against. I, oh, I am op opposite of that idea, of that uh, uh, project. And it's for that I say, and I repeat, we must, we should, uh, we should, because if we don't do it, we are cowards. We are cowards. Yes. We are cowards. We should to maintain, to keep our identity like humans. Is, is, is our, uh, el deber. Uh, Rosanna, how we say deber in, uh, in our English? Duty, our duty. It's our duty. It's our duty. Yes. And on the other Because, hand. Because, listen, only one thing, and I, I, if we are not able to keep our duty, we never gonna have respect in all over the cosmos. Agreed. 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 And um, um, I wanted to tell you also, Valerie, that tools are very useful at the very first moment. But I also agree with Sergio, once you achieve state um, of consciousness, we should be able to walk through life by ourselves. You know what I mean? P pyramids and the ones of Horus must be great to harmonize, because maybe we are not harmonized. But I hope we will reach one day a level where we will be able to be independent. Uh, yes, on the one hand, yes. But uh, again, <clears throat> if you carefully investigate the prehistory of our civilization, you will also come to a very important moment, uh, changes which took place in our civilization, like almost 14,000 years ago. Because before, we have been living in a quite different energetical environment. And people were talking one 
language, telepathic language. They were, and actually, the planet Earth was kind of a paradise in comparison to what we have now. <clears throat> but then a cosmic event took place. 13,671 years ago, huge planetoid hit the planet Earth. And that caused the movement. Planet have been replaced. It moved away from the sun. Now we have 365 days of flight around the sun. Before it was 360. It means that all energetical cycles have been broken. Everything has been broken. And this is the reason why, on the one hand, we lost the capacity, ability to talk to each other mentally. On the other hand, this environment became or went out of tune with our body. And this is the reason why later on we had to use a special tuning tools which somehow are tuning our consciousness and our brain, our energetical system to a planet Earth. Sure, in the future, situation will be changed as you say, but I tell you now what we have to do for that. We need to remove our planet back to previous orbit a little bit. Like, for example, now the axis of rotation, magnetic field, what we call precession cycle, everything is getting to be changed within the following 40 up to 50 years. It's changed. It moves to the situation, to the uh, parameters which were thousands of years ago. And closer we are coming back, the more energetically we, are, we will feel ourselves more strong, better in many, many cases. So <clears throat> in this situation, tools will be needed for us within the following well, pretty long period. They will be needed for us. And on the other hand, this is the reason why these tools, the pyramids, they used even today by all most developed civilization of our universe. They are using pyramids and instruments up till today. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. So, so Rosanna, it, if you think, I think is uh, we have done a very nice uh, interview with uh, Valerie, mm -hmm. and then uh, only I can thank you for your uh, uh, participation. We can say, Rosanna. Yeah. Sí. You can say. Es pasiva, Valerie. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Pasiva. Gracias. Pasiva. De nada. De nada. <laughs> Ana. Talk to you later. Yeah. Okay. We, oh, always, see you later, always, Rosanna. Always very happy to share new information. So everybody can choose wherever they feel. Yeah. Um, I think that's all. If you want to say anything you, else. Do you want to to say the, the, the last word, the last idea, if you want, be, before we, we close the... Uh, actually, the today, during our conversation, I, I gave the most important messages to people. But again, I'd like to tell you, today I'm talking with you for one reason. I'd like to share with you all that knowledge which I have found, discovered, and I'm inviting all of you to work as the one team. Let's get work together for our kids, for our planet, for our civilization. We have a chance to make everything good. So let's do it together. Welcome in our team. Thank you, thank you, Valerie. If it's for for uh, keep our identity, human identity, I am with yeah. you. Yes, for sure. I am human. Without being. without hybridization, <laughs> yes. without hybridization. Yes. If it's without hybridization, Absolutely. to keep to de develop like human, only human, human, yes. I am agree with you. I am with you. Just read my books, and you will find an answer. Okay. It is there. Okay. <laughs> Bye bye then. Bueno, pues, thank bye you. Bye. <laughs> bye.
Okay, so we have finished. We'll see you guys in another show. Well, surprise. <laughs> so, Sergio, do you want to play some music? Yes. Okay. And Rosana, only I want to tell you that thanks for all for you for participating in this uh, uh, with an, in the Monor project. If we can say that, I then I'm very thankfully with you, and I and see you in another hangout. Yeah, thank you for being a wonderful host, Sergio. <laughs> uh, we'll see you in another and another show. In another show, I send you a lot of kisses. Hugs and see you Bye -bye. in the other show. Music. <laughs>